Hey guys, how you doing? It's James here from J Ray Games, and today I'm playing Serious Sam: The Last Hope, super fun shooter game for VR. We're going to be using the Daydream today and uh, trying this VR, so I'm going to jump right into it. Let's go. Okay, so here we go. We are all ready to go, and you can see that I got my Daydream with the phone all set up and ready to go. I got my controller connected. If you don't know how to set this up, check my video up there uh, on how to get this going. I'm going to just jump into Steam. I'm going to start up the game just like I would on any other. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you the profile I'm using. It's Serious Sam VR Last Hope. Um, I don't have a second controller yet, but I will be getting one soon. So for right now, with the one controller, the left uh, button on the touchpad will be the left shoot. The right button will be the right shoot. The middle will be both guns shooting at the same time. The right button at the top will be the sorry, the button at the top of the touchpad will be to select the right gun and the bottom button will be to select the left gun. All right, we also have a shield that we can use for both sides, which is the actual button itself. So let's get right into it. Okay, so here we are in the lobby and you can see down here we've got all sorts of different play modes. We got missions, we got arena, we got uh, wave, endless wave, daily challenge. We've got all sorts of crazy things we can do and you can see that the controllers are tracking beautifully. I'm going to just show you what a mission looks like. Now, what you're going to do first before the round starts, and this is what it looks like, uh, you're going to press the up button to select your gun for the right hand, select and you're going to press the down button for your left hand, and as you get more credits while you play the game, you'll be able to unlock better guns, and this Three, is basically two, how we play. So. One. We are in this spot. You can see how I can control very easily, very nicely. And I'm just going to play through. I might skip some of this, but you can see how I am looking around and destroying the enemies. It's a very simple game, but it is very addictive. It's fun, and the waves get much harder. So, you know, they start out pretty easy, but it gets pretty crazy pretty quick. All right. Phase completed. Phase completed. I get my rewards. I got $2,540 to spend. And now I can use that to get better guns. Here we go. This is what it looks like. I'm going to take an assault rifle. I'm going to fill it up. Nice. Alright, and here we go. Now that gun will become an option. And I'm going to put it in my right hand. I'm going to put my pistol in my left hand because that's all I've got. And now my headset becomes the flashlight. Why can I never have a nice and basically in this one, you're hit, first of all you're shooting at the lights because those are enemies that are coming. But it does get quite a bit harder very quickly here. Any projectiles that come towards you can shoot them as long as you're fast enough before they hit you. And the levels are pretty fun. They get they get way way crazier. The basement is all cleaned up. Phase complete. Phase completed. And now we go to the next one. We did good. Twenty four hundred eighty six. Okay, let's pick um, the assault rifle in the right hand and the shotgun in the left. Select your guns. All right. Why do these aliens hate Here archaeologists so much? Here they come. One thing I don't like about the assault gun is, or the assault rifle is it's hard to see where you're shooting. Let's get that help. The uh, shotgun, however, has no problem taking out tons of enemies. So as you can see, it's a fairly simple game, but it is fun, relatively addictive too, to try to see if you can get through each wave. You can see with a single controller, it works great. If I had two controllers, I would be able to control each gun separately. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to do that soon when my second controller comes. You can see that uh, it works fairly well. Now they're going to throw a ton of at me. There's the enemy. Whew. Right. That wasn't too difficult. Let's get out of here. There we go. Let's <laughs> destroy them. Nicely done. Wave done. 
Now this is the last wave of this first mission. So in the right hand, I'm going to put my assault rifle, and in the left, I'll put my oh my mini gun. Look at this. Oh man. Two guns. Lots of bad guys. This is ridiculous. Uh, you can, I don't know if you guys can see them all coming in the distance there. Oh man. Should I just minigun them all? That'll be fun. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at the destruction. I should save those bullets though for later on. Wow, it's getting crazy. Like I said, this game gets pretty intense. Minigun, all of them. Jeez. Oh man, I'm sorry if I suck, guys. Look at the size of the enemy back there. I hope you guys can see him. He is massive. I am being, I'm being pelted. I am just being destroyed by all these projectiles. Jeez, his, his bullets, or his shots are getting way more intense. I don't know how to get this guy. He must have a weak spot. Hopefully his head, I, I don't know. I can't tell. I haven't taken up barely any health on this guy. Oh my god, it's just getting way crazier. Come on! I'm dead. He's gonna squish me. He's squishing me. This is it for me. Oh my goodness. It's over. Alright guys, well hopefully you enjoyed Serious Sam, The Last Hope VR. It's a fun little game you can just jump into and play right away. If you enjoy this content, make sure you like and subscribe and comment if you need help. I am always good for replying. And if you want to support this channel, click our Patreon up there as well. It helps us out quite a bit. Till next time, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in VR.